Okay, I want to determine if the following are radioactive or the opposite if they're stable. So radioactive means unstable. Uh, I want to determine if they're stable. Again, have your periodic table handy, and I'll have my magic numbers out so we can determine this. Let's take a look at the first one. Um, beryllium, you want to always calculate the number of protons and neutrons. Okay? Beryllium has four protons, four neutrons here. What do you think? You think it's stable. However, that's one of the two I asked you to remember that are radioactive. So usually, when protons equal neutrons, you're 10 or less. Whether you're odd or even, this is going to be stable. Okay? But this one's one of the two that's unstable. Let's do the next one. So the first one's unstable radioactive. Next one, uh, nobelium. And oh, this is number 102, way down on the periodic table. Uh, you can find it in the F block. Uh, I know the number of protons are 102. What do you think? That's radioactive because Z, the number of protons, is greater than 83. Greater than bismuth. That's radioactive. Okay. Um, let's do the next one. This is number uh, 41, niobium. Niobium. I have two isotopes of it. 41 uh, protons, how many neutrons? 50. It has a magic number of neutrons. Uh, so, so what it has on the positive side, magic number of neutrons. What it has on the negative side uh, is that, um, what's, up, what's on the negative side? I'll ask you. It's an odd and an even number. That's bad. <laughs> the magic number is good. So this one I would say we're a little uncertain about. I would say uncertain. It's, if there was a list and it asked you to pick the most stable, I probably would not pick this one. Does that make sense? I would pick one that sounds a little more certain. Okay? Uh, that doesn't mean that one of these is going to be really stable. But if, it, if the question said, what's the most stable, this might not be the one I picked. I, I'd put a question mark by it. Well, let's go to the next one. Niobium 92. What do you think about this one? Not stable because it's radioactive because? They're both odd. 41 protons, uh, and it's going to be 51 neutrons. So I don't like that one at all. I don't like any of them, except maybe the middle one. OK. Uh, and this is tritium. What do you think about this one? Uh, so what's good about it is, yeah, it has a magic number of neutrons. What's bad about it? Yeah, they're both, uh, or one of, the, one of them is an odd number. What's the other thing that's bad about it? Yeah, protons don't equal neutrons. And you can't always hang on that, but because it's small and protons don't equal neutrons, I'm not that excited about this one. So if I had to rank them, I'm kind of most excited about this one. It has the least stuff against it. Um, but otherwise, these are mostly radioactive. Some are worse than others. And you'll find that you know, some elements are more radioactive in general. So there's a spectrum of radioactive elements. OK, is that somewhat helpful? See how, see how it works? Any questions on that? That wasn't helpful.